I'm afraid um, with all those symptoms, you have acquired um, panic and anxiety disorder, but there's hope. First of all, I would ask my, um, my female hormone doctor to lessen my, my female hormone um, pills or shots. That one, lessen that one first because the, the HIV medications and female hormone, hormone um, pills and medications, they, they, they're constantly battling. And we're going back to the, um, the genome sheet. Um, your, both doctors, if they're not the same doctor, they should have your genome sheet in front of them. That way you won't go through this. But if you go through this terror, I suggest you um, weed whatever is not working for you. Let's say you don't need hormone blocker. Okay, you, you can still take um, you know, a, a female hormone shot. Just chill out on the hormone blocker. And instead of taking nightly, um, uh, let's say you got into Ambien pills. Well, then get a routine and stop taking those too. Because remember, anything you put in your body is going to coincide and mix with your HIV pills. What's most important is for you to stick with your HIV medication. And um, unfortunately, most doctors will only up the, the, um, the medication or just switch you to other medications when all you have to do is, let's say you got to stop. If you're on depression pills, stop them. Um, just stay with your um, HIV medications and lower your hormone dosages. And it's not going to make you manly. It's going to actually work in, the, in your best benefit. But also um, keep your doctor involved. And um, uh, if you're having these um, daily um, paralysis um, and psychotic moments and probably you know even nightmares, like I said, you probably have um, panic and uh, anxiety disorder. But due to this, due to this um, toxic um, blend. So learn, again, learn how to listen to your body. Be your best choice. Or should I say, choose wisely. And um, again, stay with your HIV medications, but lower everything else and take away the others that you don't need.